Hey Sparkle Storm, it's me Sparkle Storm here. I'm doing a video. In this video, we are going again. These are the final 12 My Hero Academia character class 1 instance as Demos. Hope you enjoy. Okay, the one, the first one out of the first 12, the next 12 we're going to be looking at for this right now is a Demos known as Shida Floater. Her powers are basically the ability to make things float using their shadows. She is the sub. She's one of the members of the subclass Shadow Manipulation of the sh of Shadow class. Anyways, she makes things float up and then brings them down with a hard thud. Beware if you fight her. Now for Chaka Uraka, <laughs> it was a little simple, but um. I wanted something to come up with her design, and I copied her boots, the um, parts on her boots, so that's where those come in, and also the up uh, part. And I hope you like Shadow Floater as the Choka Uraraka from My Hero Academia. The next Demos is known as the Demos um, Bat Shadow Speedster. He is a Demos that can manipulate the shadows around him to move faster. Um, but his legs are made of shadow. That will explain why he's able to travel so fast. He is also of the shadow manipulation subclass of shadow. The Demos class Demos. Beware if you fight him. He does enjoy using his fist, but he will mostly use his legs. Because they will, your one hit could sail right through it, and it could just kick you in the face. Beware of the Demos Battle sh Shadow Speedster. Teeny Eda was a little difficult, but it worked out in the end. Well, I hope you like Tinya Eda as the Demos Sp Shadow Speedster. This next Demos is a 100% Shadow Class Demos. It is known as Shadow Frog. This Demos is, like I said, one of the few is but was one of the few girls, and uh, it has she has attributes of a frog you find in everyday life, sticky pads and all that, and a long tongue. She's known to leap far distances and grab things with her tongue. Beware of the Demos Shadow Frog. Now, for Suyu Asui, it was a little bit more difficult on account that I had to make the mouth guard have a little hole on it and for the frog tongue to come off of. But I think I pulled off on the fingers really well. Well, I hope like Suyu Asui as Shadow Frog. For the next one, we're going back to the subclass of Shadow Energy. This Demost is known as Shadow Electric. This Demost summons Shadow Energy, but except it enhances his strength like SED, like I said, or Shadow Energy Fighter, he can make it fire off in big pulses of giant destructive energy. But he goes brain dead if he uses over maybe a trillion volts. Demos energy is very powerful stuff. So beware of him and his stupidity. Okay, for um, Dicky Galinari, it was actually really t relatively easy and fun one. <laughs> eh, it was also kind of funny. I wanted something to symbolize his stupidity, so it sounds pretty accurate for a trillion volts for Demos. So I like Dicky Galinari as a shadow electric. This next Demost is the same class as Shadow Electric. Shadow Waves is this one's name. She is able to summon some type of shadow like earphones and can plug them into her legs or another part of her body and send out big pulses of shadow energy. But it's more of a sound wave attack. It mimics her heartbeat. But it's mostly in her legs, it amplifies the sound so much more. Beware of the Shadow Waves Demos. Now for um, Jiro, I wanted something simple, so I copied the um, design for Dean Kabanari. Changed it to where it looks like her. 
probably like Jiro and Shadow Wave. Now this next team must is extremely dangerous. Matt look not look like it, but he is. This next Demost is known as the Demost Shadow Assassin. It is a combo class. It's a mix between Assassin and the Shadow class. The Shadow class because he can summon a um, Shadow Demost from his body. But Assassin because he is a part of the Assassin class mainly. He can summon weapons from the, one of the two tattoos on his arms, and Shadow Demos always have a cloak to conceal their identities and conceal their thoughts from other Demos. Now for Fuki Tokoyami, I wanted him to have a cape, so I put him in the Shadow Demos class, and well, the Assassin class, and put him in the Shadow class. So, and he'll be like Fuki Tokoyami as the Demos Shadow Assassin. This next Demos is a Demos from the Shadow Manipulation class, subclass of Shadow. This Demos is known as Shadow Acid. It can manipulate shadows to break down anything near around them. That is including very thin sheets of Demos and rock and Demos metal. Beware of Shadow Acid. Now, for Mia Ashido, I wanted something that can copy her quirk, so I gave her the ability to melt anything besides very, very relatively thick stuff of Shadow Rock and Shadow Metal. Demos Rock and Demos Metal, I mean. Well, I hope you like Mia Ashido as the Demos known as Shadow Acid. Demo, next Demos is a member of the Shadow class and the subclass of um, limb, sh limb Shifter. This one is mostly relegated in the arms. It can only copy, this one though, can only copy parts of the body, like a mouth. Demos usually don't have a mouth. It, but it can just summon them out to spew fire out their eyes to help it see better. So, not to mention it has six arms, so beware of the Demos. For Major Shoji, it was a little difficult to come up with a design, but I kept most of the idea, so I copied his arm designs from the anime My Hair Academia, and just shifted it over to a Demos. The mask was a little simple. Probably like Major Shoji, as the Demos known as multi-arms. next Demos we're looking at is a Demos known as Shadow Tendrils. No way to scratch that. Shadow Elbow Tendrils. It's hard to remember this guy's name. He moves a lot like Spider-Man. The reason why he's in the Shadow class is because he doesn't have any elbows so he has shadows connecting them. And he can just fling out like a shadow-like tendril out. Hence the name, Shadow Elbow Tendril. He enjoys capturing and wrapping up his enemies in Shadow Tendrils when they fight. So beware of Shadow Elbow Tendril or Set. Now for Saro, I wanted something similar to his actual character design in My Hair Academia. So this is what I got. Hope you'll like Saro as Set or Shadow Elbow Tendril. The next Demost is a Demost known as Shadow Tail. This Demost is a basically a regular Demost, it's pure Shadow class, but it falls under the Shadow, but it's not really pure on the fact that it has an extra limb, a tail. This is this Demost falls under the extra Shadow Limb subclass and enjoys using it tails in a fight. Beware of the Shadow Tail Demost. Now for Ojiro, it was simple. I just wanted to get a Demos with shadow hair in there and just add a tail. Maybe the arm's a little too big though, but I can see that's making him help him fight a little bit better. 
because he is a martial arts person. So I hope you like Ojiro as Shadow Tail. This next team monster is really dangerous. It's known as Shadow Animal Summoner, or SAS for short. This team monster is known to summon shadow-like creatures, but mostly just animals, like birds, wolves, and those creatures in general. This team monster falls under the subclass of Shadow of Shadow Summoner. It's extremely dangerous. Beware of Sass. Now, for Coda, it was a little simple. I put a D-Must in there, but I made it Shadow Claws. How do I get a new subclass for this one? So, I hope you like Coda as Shadow Ambush Summoner or Sass. This is the final one we're looking at for today. This Demust is known as Shadow Enhancer. This Demust is very similar to Shadow Energy Fighter or Seth. He is of the Demust Shadow Energy subclass of Shadow Energy. But for him, it doesn't arc off. It more or less just coats his body in shadows, making him stronger and stronger. Every single time he uses it. But he can only use it about 5 minutes at a time. Or up to an hour depending on how much shadow he's using. Beware of the sh of What was it? I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to join the Spock Stormy. Goodbye and peace out.